What's happening, everybody? Welcome to the channel. Amp Capo here, Black Adonis Games. I was on Fab and I was just browsing around through the Black Friday deals. And I got a video for that too. But I found something that's even greater right now for me. It's something I've been waiting for. Type the name of my favorite new plugin that I've been messing with. And the mutable sample project just dropped on Fab. It just dropped yesterday. I got it as soon as I saw it. I've already been playing around in it. I've already built and uh, packaged a project. I want to show you guys what it is. When you open it up, you have a character here. You have customized. You have two levels that they actually give you a little example levels. I'll talk about those in a minute. You have your actual options here and you have exit. So this is a full menu that's built and ready to go. So let's go to the customize. Check this out. All right. You have your uh, secondary color here where you can go ahead and adjust the color of your uh, clothing. You can put wear on the clothing to make it look a little bit more worn out. Look at that, man. <laughs> look at that. You can uh, go down to, you know, no shirt on. You can have the this type of shirt here. You can change your base color on your shirt. Um, it's just, this is crazy, man. This is crazy. You can change the base color on your shirt. Go back to the t-shirt here. We can uh, go down to aged here. So your jeans, that's the jeans there. So you can see the jeans are aging. You can put some dirt on the jeans. This is crazy, man. Back pockets. So you can take your back pockets on or off. Um, you also can, uh, Front pockets, so you have different types of front pockets. So you can go here, and as you can see, if you look up close, the pockets are changing. All right, or no pockets. So you get your different kinds of pockets there. Um, You can change your jacket type. You could put no jacket. Just have your shirt on. You can see there that you got your, your arm there that you can do. Here goes the different shoes. And you can see I've already been playing with the colors and stuff. Um, You can have no shoes. This is just crazy, man. I'm loving this. Uh, we can go here. You can change the skin tones of your character. Um, I'm going to actually have mine go darker than this. Uh, I want a large variation of character colors and types. So I'll probably be having adding to this skin tone. Um, you can age. So you can make the character look more aged. You see how the chest even dropped down. It's dope, man. I love this. All right. Uh, you can add freckles to the character, which are already on. I already have all this stuff on. You have circuit uh, spots. I'll just turn them off so you can see when they're off. So that's no circuit spots. That's with the circuit spots. Complete cyborg, man. Um, you can take off the uh, seam trails. You got the chest claw here that I added on. Um, there's rust you can put on the arm. So you can see there that the arm got rusty. I mean, come on, man. This is really nice, man. This is a, a great example here. You have your tattoo and um, you can say on and you see I got the tattoo on the chest. The nicest thing about these tattoos that I've seen is that you can actually move them and they conform to wherever you move them, man. So this is really on a different level. And you can see there's a seam right there. So you have a amount of, you know, you have a max amount that you can do this and it looks good. But just period. That's just crazy. That looks amazing. That looks amazing. All right. You can take, uh, set the tattoo color. Um, you can set the tattoo lighting it says on or off, whatever that is. You got the tattoo for your leg. So you got tattoo. You can actually add to your leg as well down there and you can change the different band types and move that around as well. So say you don't want it at that part of the leg, you want it on a, a higher part of the leg. You can actually move the tattoo up um, and um, you can also uh, reset if you don't like what you did. I'm going to go ahead and right arm. So this guy's got two arms now, uh, both the same rustiness. I would definitely make this where um, you can uh, add a new arm and stuff like that and make it uh, look good again and have the arm get worn as you wear it like that. That would be pretty cool, but you can change the color of the arm. Like, this is crazy to me, man. This is crazy. Y'all know me. I'll have independent colors for the arms, though, not both of them changing together. So um, 
this is pretty cool. You got your tattoo color here that you could change. So there's just a lot to this. That's, that's really nice. That's just insanely crazy. I just saw something move down here. Oh, there we go. That's the move the tattoo. So I didn't even have to click on the line. You could just move it. So that's dope. All right. So that's all of those settings. Now you got these settings here as well for the face. So you can set, you know, different looks for the face here. Just look at all this, man. Eye shape. Go play with this, guys. I'm going to have the link down below. So it'll just take you right to fab. That's how I'm going to do it anyway. Um, you can change your eye color here. You could turn the cyborg eye off. I mean, just look at all this. I'm not going to go through every single thing because it's just crazy. There's a lot. Um, but just so you guys can see, man, this is amazing. And this is out. You can, there's a project. You can just go in and you can hook the project up and start right away manipulating. They even show you a weapon system here. So you can have a weapon system. This is going to go great with AGLS. That's what I'm going to try to plug this into my AGLS project and see how this works out. This is pretty amazing. This will probably be good with Lyra too. I'll see about uh, hooking that up. I'm pretty positive that this will be really easy to probably hook into Lyra starter game as a way to set up your character and even set up a loadout. Um, I'll be playing around with both of them and let you guys know what I come up with. I got a lot of tutorials to cut. So um, just go check this out, man. This is like crazy right now. Like I'm, I'm so, I, 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 this is it. This is what I was waiting for. Um, I had actually purchased another system, which I shouldn't have done. Um, but I do like the system. I'm learning from the other system that I uh, purchased as well, but this is just amazing right here. This is already set for us. All you got to do is add your own content. And there's so many examples in the actual project itself. I actually do have the mutable sample open here, so I could show you guys that real quick too, but it literally, you can see I'm already working in it and I'll be showing you guys a lot of the work I've been doing in the mutable project. I've been coming up with, uh, figuring this out and just digging through the content but it literally has a tutorial section. So if you, you really want to know that that's, that's amazing for me right here, they have a section called tutorials. And in here they have all of the examples and you can follow along with these examples in, let me get this up as well. Um, you can follow along your examples right here in Epic. So if you go to the, dev.epicgames.com it actually walks you through the process of each one the tutorials are set up to follow along with this content so this is setting us up guys this is already letting us know look this is what the future is this is what this is what it is the system is a little difficult to uh, grasp at first but not impossible. And I will definitely be doing tutorials on this along with the AGLS because I plan on, like I said, putting this in my AGLS project, man, this would be amazing guys, ladies, everybody get involved with this mutable plugin. Because like I said, I believe this is going to be the future of how unreal games, this is what Epic is looking to be their character creation setup. And I'm pretty positive that they're probably going to have a whole, eventually a whole starter kit with this in it. Like the Epic example project, sample projects will come with this already enabled because it does work. And I love it when you go into the project as well. And I didn't get to show you guys this, but I'll show you this right quick. When you go in and you say, okay, confirm your character, you can go to infinite level and they actually give you an example level where you get to see and you've seen that head pop in late, but it shows how you can have your NPC just randomly generated using this plugin. So that's pretty crazy that you can have this and it's probably not showing as good. You can see that the, the, the it's blurry. It's because I actually have a project open, I'm recording and I have this running. So, so I got a 4070, this should be handling this, but it's not. I guess it's just too much, but anyway, you can definitely see this and this looks pretty amazing. Amazing. They actually have a benchmark toggle that you can turn on and, um, it's just really good, man. I like it. I'm going to uh, get out of this right quick. So 
if you uh, escape it'll give you the menu so that you can go back to the lobby so come on man this is already set up like i said then there's a showcase level that actually gives you examples when you go in and we all know how these are these are the basic examples that give you examples of each situation and show you it in use so definitely check this project out man i'm excited about it i'm going to be doing tutorials on this right away because i've already been in it for hours i like can't even leave it alone right now i'm actually uh entering my character in to the main character slot now the only thing that i did not like if you notice there's no example where it actually shows your character that you're making here in the level so that's the one thing that's missing here i don't understand why that's not here there's also options so this is nice this is where you can set your menu for the rest of your project they don't have anything set here right now so that's there for you so that you can blend this into your project and your options can be like your other menu that you have like i have a menu where I can set, you know, how loud I want things, or say if you're using Lyra, you can slap this over Lyra, and then when you click this options, it'll take you to your Lyra menus, and that'll be very easy to set up, I'm sure. Now, the main thing, like I said, is the main character actually being in the game as this character. I don't think it'll be very difficult to pull off. This looks pretty easy, actually, um, now that I'm thinking about it, but definitely check this out guys i'm so excited i'm gonna get off of here and start working in this right now i really want to get this on agls um that's all i got for this one go get the mutable plugin i'll have the link below like subscribe hit the notifications and share the content love everybody out there keep getting your dev on i'm out